Mike, there you are. Hello. You're, you're, up and, you're still up and at him. It's good to see. How is it going? Yeah, uh, all right. It's um, not too bad, to be honest. I thought uh, at some point today it was pretty pretty dark place. It was much harder after about 10 miles. But then I oh. seemed to, uh, it seemed to get a bit more flat and, yeah, just Where got we, through it. Where do we find you? When did you start? How far have you run? How far have you got to go? So I started yesterday uh, and started in Helmsley and went to Osmotherley and that was uh, that was approximately 20 miles. And then I started from Osmotherley and um, finished just near Stokesley uh, today. So it's, uh, that, that was about 23, 23 miles. So I've done about 43 in total. Right, so there's, there's still quite a road stretched out before you. Were you a runner before you had your diagnosis of epilepsy? Yeah, I've always kind of been a plodder, really, not not so much running. Um, I didn't do so much once I'd been diagnosed and um, was just starting to. And then my friend invited me to a, to a WhatsApp group, Middle Age Runners. And, um, yeah, it's just a kind of little, little good community and we all kind of egg each other on and encourage each other, a little bit of competitiveness, and then start to get back into it. And then I thought, right, let's let's do something stupid. Let's raise a bit of money for a great cause. Not stupid, not stupid. How you, you, I have to I have to ask about the epilepsy. Uh, are you having to make uh, special provision around that? You, do you have backup and and people you know you know ready uh, you know to to provide support for you? Yeah, so I've got a one person support team. Uh, my suffering partner Tracy. Um, she keeps an eye on me. We have regular kind of pit stops. It's it's the fluids more than anything. Just making sure that I'm kind of topped up with water and uh, kind of energy drinks. Um, she's done a fair bit of baking, so uh, lots of sugary snacks. I'll probably put, I'll probably have put on weight by the time I finish. So, um, so it's just the, it's just yeah. the two it's just the two of you. It's you're, you, I was ima yeah. I was imagining you know a, a Winnebago running you know. Coming behind you with uh, endless supplies of with energy drinks, no, no. So it's just me doing the actual run, but yeah, my, my partner. We've kind of plotted out the route, and when there's kind of a road uh, crosses with with the trail, that's where she's that's where she's meeting me to get kind of topped up, and then I'll go and do the next x amount of miles. Amazing, and I have to say, and I listed the the route in in, in shorthand there. Must be some spectacular scenery uh, that you've oh, either yeah. been through already or that you have to look forward to. Yeah, it's, it has been it has been amazing, and um, yeah, when you're not thinking about kind of how much more you've got to go and and things like that, you, you do kind of it does take your breath away, really, and you think, how lucky am I to to live in in such a such a great place? So yeah, no, it's been fantastic. I'm I'm looking forward to kind of literally what's round the corner. And and have you personal reasons to be you know uh, thankful to the epilepsy society? Are you connected to them on account of your diagnosis? Yes, yeah, so they've been they've been really good with um, advice more than anything. I've had a terrible time with the DVLA. If you ever do a special on the DVLA, let me know, and I'll I'll use that for a full hour. Um, so they've been really good with with the um, advice and things for for that. And it's just um, sometimes you just need someone to talk to who understands the situation you're in, and it can be really it can be really good for that as well. How much of an impact has it had on your day to day life? You know, never mind contemplating a physical challenge like this one. It takes away your your independence, really. Um, that's the that's the main thing. So I'm now having to. Uh, rely a lot on kind of public transport, and my partner drives me everywhere. Um, my my child lives, you know, it's an hour's drive. So when I, I um, or when I see her at a weekend, we've got to drive. It's a two hour round trip with with um, with Tracy's little girl as well. So it's kind of it's that kind of thing, really. It's it's then you're having to rely on other people. If it was just me, I you know. You just get on with it, but it's the the further impact it has on other people as well. And when it comes to the to the running, what is the 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 
greatest to distance that you've previously completed? You, you know, have you have you a marathon under your belt or anything of that order? Yeah, I've done a uh, I've done a marathon and um, I did the Edinburgh Ultra um, October. I can't remember. It was prior. It was pre. It was pre epilepsy. I'll just I'll just uh, involve my my guests here in the in the studio. I can hear the the supportive noises that are coming from <laughs> Emma and and Jasmine. Emma, it, it's a it's a lift for all of us, isn't it? To know that someone, I mean, as if a two hundred and fifty mile run wasn't challenging enough to do it, you know, with when epilepsy has become part of life. Absolutely. I mean, it's so inspiring. Uh, I mean, as I said to you in the break, I couldn't run 215 metres in 10 days. I can't run for a bus. I'm sticking to yoga, Mike. I'm sorry, but I think you're fantastic. Yeah. And Jasmine, it's, it's a, it's a, a, they always reset the clock for me when I hear these stories mm. because I, all my preoccupations and concerns, I think, but I'm not having to cope with mm. that Absolutely. Yes. And, and as Aunt, Aunt Emma says, it, it is inspiring because it's I, I'm always more interested, if I'm honest, um, at, at the disabled Olympics, the Special Olympics, because you've got the, the mental overcoming as well as the physical overcoming. So it's, it's a great thing to see that that you really can you with with whatever you've, you you're dealing with, you can overcome it and and do even greater things than you might have thought before. Yeah. Mike, I hope you're hearing those uh, those sounds, those votes of uh of support. Yeah. Um, I, I have to admit, when you were when you were talking there about epilepsy, I, it, it's not clear to me, or hasn't been clear to me, exactly what an impact epilepsy has on a person. You know, that's my that's my ignorance there, uh, and I, I do yeah, think it's that, important that's, to that's be reminded thing that, I'm that trying it, to do really is to to get that awareness out. Uh, yes. to people as well, because a lot of people are in the same boat. They don't understand what someone with, with epilepsy kind of goes through and has to think about on a day-to-day -day basis. I mean, yeah, I have to take a, a couple of tablets a day. Um, but, yeah, like if, everything kind of I listed before, that's the, the other impact. And, and people will be in a much worse position than me as well. I've got – I'm lucky I've got a really supportive partner and – a really supportive family, so there, there will be people in a worse position than me. I'd like, obviously, to, to, uh, to give you an opportunity to do things practical. There'll be a lot of people watching and listening that would like to support, like to uh, offer up some cash. Uh, what are the ways in which they, they might help you and, and back your, your campaign? So, yeah, a couple of, couple of different, different ways. I've been vastly underprepared and not written down my and my Just Giving page. So it's on Just Giving. And if you were to uh, just Google my name, so it's it's Michael Olif. Um, or and you can you can follow me on Twitter. I'm quite um, I like to kind of keep people updated on Twitter as well, which is at Mikey Moo eighty. And I'm I'm wondering. I have to ask really. How much money do you think you might be able to? raise uh, because i know that you're going to complete the run so that's that's a that's a done deal as far as i'm concerned so what's yeah. your target i've or, i've already reached my my target was 1000 pounds um i've already reached that target but any any more from anybody is brilliant whether it be 510p or 510 pounds just whatever people want to want to give or just supportive words on on Twitter is really nice as well. Just kind of keeps you going. 